Let's take a look at modern products that already are or are becoming common in our everyday life. Smartphones, drones, bladeless fans, robot cleaners and many other consumer products. All these products are successful, performant and good looking. And to achieve that, we need to visualize the final product and see how it would perform. In order to do so, we need modeling. So, what is modeling? Do you remember playing with modeling dough when you were young, manipulating it to represent like the sun, a house, or an animal, or playing with building blocks to create cars, spaceships, or pretty much anything you wanted, placing all pieces together and also spending endless hours finding that missing piece that somehow ended up under the couch. Or even making, sometimes, useful stuff using clay. All these are simple examples of modeling that you may have done before. So again, what is modeling? Using the definition from the English dictionary, Modeling is the activity of making three-dimensional models. And why is that important? Well, by creating three-dimensional models, we can visualize the design and see if it looks as expected. In addition to that, models can help us discover if there are any design flaws, as we discussed previously. If we can see the product, we can more easily understand if something could go wrong or if something could be improved. We can find real models are often built with wood to display structures and buildings. Also, in the car industry, sculptured clay models are still used by designers to create, visualize and modify the design of your next car. In the last few decades, a new form of modeling has become more and more popular. Digital modeling. Simply using our computers, we can build any type of geometry, from simple to incredibly complex. We can build components of vehicles or specific mechanisms. We can build entire airplanes and even models of humans, like this skydiver wearing a wingsuit or this cyclist riding a bike. And we can have more and more realistic models as we add more details, like junctions to make the model flexible like the human body, or details of the bike such as the chain, the brakes, and so on. Digital modeling is now commonly referred to as solid modeling. This is because the final model is not just a simple digital representation of a three-dimensional object. Starting from real-life examples, like this dump truck, we can use our computer to create the same truck in a virtual space. In a computer simulation, the truck will behave the same as it would in real life. Hence, it will behave as a real solid model. Solid modeling provides physical fidelity of the objects being represented. Why is solid modeling important? There are many aspects of solid modeling that make it very important nowadays. It is the starting point to create a real model and it is fundamental for designing products. We can easily see the different pieces of a component and how they will fit together. Another use is purely visual but not less important. Thanks to accurate rendering, we can visualize if the final design will look nice 
and quickly perform modifications where needed. Also, solid modeling is needed to build any 3D printed object, from simple objects like keychains, to economic medical prosthetics, and even some low-cost houses. For 3D printing, the solid models must include also the internal structure that will be followed to print them. Solid modeling is also the starting point for performing engineering simulations to understand how the design will work and to identify ways to further improve its performance. We can refer to this as simulation modeling, meaning that the scope of the solid model is to be used inside a computer simulation. Engineers and scientists all over the world use ANSYS simulation technology to analyze many types of objects and physics. For example, we can study how a fluid will move and mix in a valve and how the valve's shape will help make it more effective. We can analyze how a structural component will sustain loads and then identify the critical points where the object may break and reinforce them. 3D models can be used to check the aerodynamic performance of different vehicles such as airplanes or trucks. Also, we can analyze thermal loads or components temperatures. We can study how the geometry of an object affects the way it dissipates heat in the surrounding air and improve the shape of a heatsink used to control the temperature of the CPUs in our computers. Let's take a look at some applications of solid models in engineering simulations. With ANSYS simulation software, we can quickly modify a component to reduce its weight and verify if it will still support the required loads. Or we can analyze how the internal structure of a 3D printed object will behave. We can see and study how a hair will move around the car or just focus on one of the car parts. Models can also be used to recreate realistic looking cities and virtual cockpits to test and develop the next generation of safety feature on our cars. You may be wondering how you can do solid modeling. Well, this is pretty simple. All you need is a computer with an internet connection, the software for 3D design, and access to training courses, guidance, and forums. So let's get ready to start our journey into solid modeling. With this course, you will learn how to create solid models the way professional engineers do and apply useful strategies that will quickly improve your skills.